Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the multi target function of Vuforia engine. In our previous videos, we discussed how to configure Vuforia with Unity and how to import the AR camera game object into our hierarchy and how to set up its license key. So, if you have not watched those videos, you can click on the links in the description box to watch them. Today, let's talk about how to work with multi-target. On Vuforia, we can use multi-target, for example, when we scan a production package and we can see the user guide as an animation in augmented reality on top of the box or package. We could also use it to scan the box to see a preview of what is inside it in augmented reality. So now let's see how to work with multi-target. I have already created an empty scene on Unity. I will delete the main camera here and add the AR camera from the Vuforia engine options. I have already installed the Vuforia SDK to my Unity project. After adding the AR camera, you will be able to see the Open Vuforia Engine Configuration button. After clicking on it, we are able to see our license key here. In our previous videos, we discussed how to add the license key here. We can then create the game object named multi-target from under the Vuforia engine options. After the game object has been created, we can see that a box has been added in the scene window by default. This default box is a database that comes with the SDK. After selecting multi-target, you will be able to see the database under the multi-target behavior script in the inspector panel. This is the database called Vuforia Mars Images. Vuforia Mars Images is a database that is installed by default along with the SDK. Let's now see how to customize one of our own boxes here. You should open the developer.vuforia.com website. You must have an account here which can be created for free. You should then come to this Target Manager tab you should and create a database. database. You should select the type as device and name the database. I am going to name this database Multitest and click Create. You are now able to see the newly created database here. We can click on it to enter the database. You can see that we have not added any image targets here. Let's do that now. You should select the multi option from the one seen here. You have to provide dimensions here. The dimensions we provide should be the real world dimensions of the box that we are going to scan. The values must be given in meters. I will provide the dimensions of a cube of side 15 centimeters. I will type 0 0.15 in these spaces. I will name it test and then add it. We will now be able to see the target name test here. The status is seen here as incomplete as we have not added any images here yet. When you click on test, you will be able to see the box that we created with the dimensions we provided earlier. We can click on each of the faces seen here in order to upload the image that we want for each of them. Don't forget that the image must be the same aspect ratio as the dimensions that we provided earlier. If it does not follow the aspect ratio, we will not be able to upload the image. I will click Upload. As the image I uploaded was the correct aspect ratio, we can see that it has been successfully added here. I am going to provide the same image for all sides of the box.
I have now created the entire box with the letters T and T on each side. If you want, you can add different images for each phase of the box. I have now created the image targets. I will now download the database. After coming here, I will click on the Download Database button and select Unity Editor from these options. I will then click Download. This database will then be downloaded as a Unity package. After this, I will come to Unity. I will select and import the package that we downloaded. After importing, we will then be able to select it as multi-test under the database options under the multi-target behavior script. We will be able to see that the multi-target option here now shows test and our box can be seen. This box must also have the same dimensions and be textured in the same way in the real world as well. We have to then take printouts of the images and paste them on each face of the box. I taught you how to create this box. After coming to the Assets option and clicking on the Editor folder, we should select the Vuforia folder. Inside it, there is a 4Print folder which holds a multi-target folder. Inside that, they have provided us with a PDF of the sketch of the default mass box. To make it easier, I have taken a printout of this page and pasted it on a box. I will be using this default box to create our augmented reality app. I have already printed it and created a box. I will come back to this and select the default box under the multi-target options. I have bought a 3D model of a small toy car from the asset store. I will place it like this on top of the box. When viewing it in augmented reality, we will be able to see a preview of the toy car on top of the box after scanning it. If this was the packaging of a toy car, we would be able to see the car on top of it. You must make sure that the 3D model we just added is added as a child object under the multi-target game object. I will now convert this into an Android build. I will click on Build Settings under Files. I will then switch the platform to Android. I have already done so here. We should then come to Player Settings and edit some of the settings here. You should come to the Other Settings section and change the scripting backend to IL2CPP. You should also tick the box in front of ARM64 under the Target Architectures section. The minimum API level is Android 8.0. You should select a relatively recent version. If an older one is chosen, there will be no support for the SDK. There's no issue with the target API level being set to automatic. These are the settings that we have to edit. You must then click Build. This is what we can see after we install the relevant APK into our phone. We can open our main camera and point it at the box that was printed. You can then see that the car can be seen quite clearly on top of the box in augmented reality. In this way, you can even place animated 3D objects here. This method can be used to create an augmented reality app to view such packages. Thank you so much for watching the video. We're so glad that you joined us on the Render Island channel today. We're always creating new content for Unity developers, so please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.